A top official with Des Moines Area Community College has filed a federal complaint against the school, claiming it lost its Title IX complaint records. Title IX is a federal law prohibiting discrimination in schools based on sex. Local 5 reporter Connor O'Neill joins us to explain what this could mean for the school. Connor. Yeah, hey Stephanie. Well, if the, Depart or if the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights were to find that DMACC did not report any of its Title IX complaints, disciplinary action against staff could happen. Wade Robinson, the Dean of Student Resources, told me earlier today this whole situation started after the school ended its contract with a company that provided an anonymous complaint reporting tool. Des Moines Area Community College is facing a complaint from one of its own leaders. Wade Robinson, the school's Dean of Student Resources, accused DMACC of failing to keep its Title IX complaint records on file. For the past few years, the school had a contract with Navex, which allowed students and staff to submit anonymous claims through DMACC's website regarding anything from embezzlement to sexual harassment claims. But then last month, Robinson noticed something was wrong after filing a records request for a prior school complaint. When we discontinued it in February of 23, that there were no records retained, nothing was archived by Navex Global, and no records were retained by the two people who received the reports here. Robinson said the school's president and former vice president were the only people who had access to these complaints through the portal. And when the former VP left, Robinson claims the DMAX contract with Navex ended, leaving the school's records of Title IX complaints gone. Very frustrating, only because what we don't know is how many reports were submitted through it, and we have absolutely no way to rebuild that historical record now from 12, 14, 16 years. Who knows how many different things were submitted in there. Robinson said he wishes the school officials with access to the records would have printed and scanned all complaints as a backup so DMACC wouldn't be facing this issue now. And we always talk about how safety and, and health and and well-being of our, our constituents is the utmost importance. Um, there's no more important way to do it than through this process. And DMAX President Rob Denson also told me earlier today, said this matter is still under investigation, but the school is working to try and retain its complaint records.